Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. So we gave you something called the Rocky. The Rocky. So the Rocky is this little device here that... Um, that has two ports on it. It has a micro USB that's solely for charging. Wait, wait, let me guess. This is a hand, a palm cooler. It, absolutely, yeah. you got it right. No, you know, it's, a it's actually a palm warmer. Sorry, <laughs> no. It actually does get fairly warm, which is very interesting. It's not a speaker at all. No. Okay. Um, what this is is my and my original uh, thought was that it was a Bluetooth uh, device too, but it's not that either. The idea behind the Rocky is that it is a Wi-Fi uh, system. So. Uh, a lot like AirPlay, you can now send music to one of these and then have it plugged in just norm via normal So there's connector. no speaker on it. It's a receiver. It's a receiver a Bluetooth only. receiver that you would then plug into your power system. It's not Bluetooth. Or, oh, it's not Bluetooth. It's, it's Wi-Fi. Not, it's Wi-Fi. So you have to have a Wi-Fi so network and be on a Wi-Fi yes, network. Yes, you have to be yourself. connected to a Wi-Fi network. So you can't use it at the beach, for instance. N no, no, you can't. Um, it does have a standalone mode where I think it, you could actually use it at the oh. beach, where you could you could s set this to uh, to connect directly to it because the, it's Wi-Fi. The beach huh. doesn't make a lot of sense because you could put the phone right next to the speaker at the beach. This is for right. where you want the phone in your pocket. Around the house. And you wander around and the speaker system And because is it's Wi-Fi... Uh, you can connect. You can add multiple to your system. So I could have three of these on my home network, and it, it's much easier within the app to choose. Uh, so it's like a which, kind of a mini Sonos system. Exactly. Exactly. Let me make sure I'm on the. No, I am. So, oh yeah, it's not plugged, turned on. So let's go ahead and turn on. Um, so these are battery the powered. The Rockies. Yep, they're battery powered. You have to charge them via USB. Correct. All correct. Right. And hope there we go. And there's a tiny little green LED oh, that'll it. turn on. Um, they come and in cute colors too. They, they do. Like so candies. these are all just silicon uh, shells. So you can you can. Oh, the Rocky itself is just inside. The Rocky of is inside of here, uh, underneath this shell. That's clever. Yeah, yeah which is kind of. Connected to your Wi-Fi router. So yeah, I hear it. You know, so to... it very much. Is, yeah, I hear it. It's pretty loud. It sounds good, but that's the speaker, which is not part of the system. Right. The Rocky is for now, the, existing the Rocky powered was speakers. The one who said that. Rocky said, "I've successfully Got connected it. to your Wi-Fi system." So. It does have voice activation. So now that it's it's connected, I can choose which Rocky I want. If I had multiple, I could switch between them. If I play them all, can I play them all at once in a party mode? Or do I can only play I one have, at a time? I did not see a way to okay. link these, but I also only had one, so... Well, it kind of makes sense because the issue on doing that is latency. And if right. they're not exactly in sync, it's going to sound like you've got this echoey system all around you. Right. So, so you could probably choose one at any time. Yes. How much is that? So this is a $50... Thing. So you could, it's a lot cheaper than Sonos if you had a stereo. Right. In your stereo, you have a bathroom speaker. Right. And especially if you have an older system that maybe you've invested yeah. a lot of money in yeah. with the really nice speakers, and you want some way that to have your smartphone connect into that. Pros now, and oh, go ahead. So, um, I'm gonna say that uh, a lot of the con there's a lot of cons with this, and uh, mostly with the app. The app okay. is really, really bad. I use it on Android, so let me go ahead and just cl uh, close it out so you you get the. Um, Experience from when you start. Uh, when you start it up, it looks like this, and it has this little home button. Um, it's kind of confusing because you think, well, Rocky, let's go ahead and click it. Right. Nope. So they've, <laughs> for some stupid nope. reason, that goes home. they have associated this with the Android back button. That makes no sense. Which sort of makes sense if you got to the front screen from somewhere else in the mm, app somehow. No, uh, no search. Too. Search is kind of really prevalent. And then there's these panels down here. There's only two. Pictures. And the second one is really pixel, is really ugly. Yeah. What you actually have to click on this screen is the Rocky Me Now, which is literally the smallest button <laughs> on the home screen. So you Rocky go ahead and click that. Well, you'll learn that quickly. Right. Because it's a third-party app, you need to have almost all your music on the device. It only works with two... Um, two streaming services, oh. SoundCloud and Last.fm at the moment. So wait a minute. Rocky is the thing playing the music back. Yes. This, this is why this app is this not is, important. Yeah, this is a very important app. The, you, you have to live in the app. Unless if you're on an iOS device and you can AirPlay to this, uh, the, the Rocky. AirPlay. It will take AirPlay. Okay. But for me, I was on Android. Right. So um, that was kind of a big, big bummer. They promised Spotify or uh, there's another service uh, in the future. But like SoundCloud, you click in. Uh, you have to log in. Yeah, so let me go ahead and do that. Do that somewhere else. But you yes. can. But you can see like uh, when I log into SoundCloud here, uh, the option that I have is to import my playlists and tracks. And this is like another feature that the, my this should have gone away. Why is my keyboard still here? <laughs> Get that out of here. Go ahead and hit import. 
And then it says in an Android notification at the bottom, not a, notif a pull-down notification, but an on-screen notification, that it, it will have imported my, my stuff. Yeah. But where is it? The I next thing that you probably would do is hit this button, which is log out. Yeah. If you go back, yeah. let me try. Go now, back to Rocky. So I go to artists. This is all, this, there's none of my SoundCloud artists that are in here. This is only no. the artists that are on the device. The software is very rough. Oh, it's incredibly rough. Yeah. So if I actually find something from my SoundCloud, uh, I know for a fact that this is, is part of it. If I click play, I do have the correct. Oh, no, it switched to the <laughs> Nexus 7. So let's choose the correct device. Go ahead and click it to play it. Uh, no, it's, right. sorry, it's doing... I kind of get the idea. The app is horrible. <laughs> it's absolutely horrible. It's playing and, it through your phone now, not yes, through the Yes, it's playing it through my phone. I mean, that might have been my fault because I didn't select this. Uh, I try to choose play. It gets to about four seconds, and then it'll just stop. Pros and cons. Um, the pros is that it's inexpensive. It's uh, $50. 50 per unit. Um, it's Wi-Fi, yeah. which kind of has some cons because it's latent. It, there's a lot of latency with Wi-Fi, so it'll have to buffer. Right. It'll be about four seconds before anything starts playing. Uh, but the pro is that it could happen anywhere in your house. It's not. It's not tied down to Bluetooth. It's one of the few ways I know that you could send your sound via Wi-Fi right. to a stereo system. And the final pro is that it is AirPlay compatible if you right. have an iOS device. Fifty dollars. Buy. Try. Don't. Buy. Well, my cons. <laughs> oh, you didn't even do the. Cons. I didn't even do the cons. So incredibly buggy app. Um, SoundCloud support just doesn't really work all that well. Um, the fact that uh, there's there's tons of little bugs like you can't drag tracks around. If you drag them above to the top of the screen where you'd expect it to keep scrolling past, it just stops. You have to let go, scroll, pick it up, and move it again. Um, and uh, it just uh, and just it, it took me about 45 minutes to set this up at my house. Okay. Me. Um, That's frustrating. So, uh, buy, try, don't buy. This is a don't buy. Yeah, I think so. It, unfortunately, it's not. It feels unless you have to have yes. a Wi-Fi enabler on your speaker, right. not Bluetooth, because there's lots of those Wi-Fi enabled. Wi uh, yeah, uh, unless if this really fills your niche. I mean, right. the, for me, at best, it felt like a hack. At worst, it was incredibly frustrating. Was it a Kickstarter? Was it, it was a Kickstarter. It was. It All was. Right. So maybe in next generation will be a little bit better. Hopefully. That's Hopefully. the Rocky, R-O-C-K-I, Wi-Fi adapter for sound. Uh, don't buy, sad to say, from uh, Chad. Thank you, Chad. No problem.